is urbanizing rapidly and the United Nations estimates that by 2026, over half of its 4.5 billion people will be living in cities. So it is very critical that we measure how cities are vulnerable to climate change and how should cities be disclosing their climate risks. And most importantly, how can cities increase and strengthen their resilience capacity? As we have been working on the smart city concept, there was a time that we talked about the smart grid system. By the time that we came to know that AI, IT development is actually helping. However, this year we faced with the COVID-19 situation and then this impact was very significant. Now that we came up with the additional idea that we may have to have that kind of mega city, but surrounded by the satellite city as well, so that the satellite cities are actually backing up the mega cities function. Those kind of new concepts maybe need to be in place for those Asian new cities planning as well. Climate change is going to exacerbate vulnerabilities. The labor, the cleaners, the factory workers, those are the people who are going to be most at risk at these changing conditions because they're the ones that are least able to protect themselves and the least able to have a voice. And that's why I think it's so important that we focus our efforts on measuring and listening to what those, those people need, those workers need, those household needs to succeed in a time of climate change. When we approach our issues with that holistic planning lens, when we take into account health and well-being, economy, the environment and infrastructure, and very importantly, invest in that longer term planning and governance, we can get there, prioritize that work, take that holistic view, welcome partners in, and we can surely build resilience together.